this is Julie from Main Street USA Studios, and we've got all the Disneyland news for you coming up next. This week at the Disneyland Resort, Paint the Night Returns, new luxury passes, Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree update, new Bayou Country costumes, preview days, construction updates, and more. Exciting news this week, Disney's Paint the Night Parade is making a return. Disney shared a video captioned with the lyric, When can we do this again? from Wreck-It Ralph, but didn't give any details. There's no word yet on when the parade will come back or how long it will run. A lot of people, including our group, are excited though. Paint the Night is one of Disney's best parades. Originally debuting at Disneyland in 2015, it later moved to DCA in 2018, but hasn't been around since. It's rare for a parade to have appeared at both parks, and while there's no confirmation yet, we think it will return to DCA over Disneyland because of the strong Pixar presence in the parade, which we think is a better fit at DCA. Get ready for a new luxury offering. Disney has introduced a new way to breeze through lightning lanes at Disneyland and at Disney World, but it comes with a hefty price tag. Starting Wednesday, October 23rd, both parks launched the Lightning Lane Premier Pass alongside the existing multi-pass and single-pass options. Unlike previous passes, the Premier Pass lets you access Lightning Lane attractions without needing to book ahead. Just show up and go on. That's right, no booking windows. Just arrive at the ride and go on. It's something many guests have been asking for since Genie Plus was introduced during the pandemic. Though it's obviously not for a large audience because it's incredibly expensive. Now this new Lightning Lane Premier Pass covers all the attractions that were available through the multi-pass and single pass, previously known as Genie Plus and individual Lightning Lanes. You can use it once per day at each included attraction. Meaning you can go on all available attractions at either park, but only once for each ride. Plus, you'll get complimentary PhotoPass downloads for the day. Definitely a more flexible way to enjoy the parks, but it's designed for those willing to pay for this luxury convenience. So this launches this Wednesday, October 23rd. Normally, you will be able to purchase this pass up to two days in advance of your visit, but there won't be any early bookings for the first day. You can only book it that day. The Lightning Lane Premier Pass will be available on a first-come, first-served basis and will grant Lightning Lane access across both Disneyland and DCA in a single day. For the rest of 2024, the cost is $400 per person with no taxes, and starting next year, prices will vary between $300 and $400 depending on the season. It is starting at the highest $400 price since it is launching during the holiday season. We're excited that there are new options available at the park and this type of ride pass would have to be expensive to function. But at $400 per person per day, it's likely going to be a special occasion purchase, whereas multi-pass and single pass are more accessible. And then lots of news out of Bayou Country this week. We finally have a date. The Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree will open at Disneyland this Friday, October 25th. Remember that the old Hungry Bear restaurant has been under construction while it gets rethemed to the Country Bears and gets a new barbecue menu. The restaurant will not include a Country Bears show, but will have theming from the Country Bears. The new menu is very different than the Hungry Bear and includes a smoked barbecue combo platter, a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, a smoked beef brisket sandwich, a smoked Angus beef burger with pulled pork, a corn ribs plate, beer battered fries, baked beans, house slaw, and even the kids menu got a new pork spare ribs option. There's also a toasted cheese sandwich for the kiddos. Dessert will include a new banana pudding and new funnel cake fries. Disney also revealed the various costumes for cast members at the rides and shops in Bayou Country. Disney costume designer Ashton Montgomery has brought the magic of New Orleans to life with a new cast member costume. Ashton started her own Disney career in 2011 and later pursued costume design, was selected to create vibrant outfits inspired by Mardi Gras and the rich cultural heritage of the Bayou. The costumes blend historical elements with modern updates and we really like the playful motifs and the earthy tone. And a reminder that although Tiana's Bayou Adventure ride officially opens November 15th, Magic Key holders can preview the ride starting this Monday, October 21st. And then here are the upcoming Magic Key preview dates from then until November 15th. 
If you do go on a preview day, you need to be a magic key holder, have a Disneyland park reservation, and join the virtual queue, which opens at 7 a.m. There will also be a second queue for guests of either park starting at noon. So you have two tries to get in the virtual queue. Expect queue spots to fill up very fast, so you'll need to be on your phone, in the app, ready to go. And as we previously mentioned, Disney will also be giving out small souvenirs to guests who attend the preview day while supplies last. In closure and construction updates starting in Disneyland Park, the scaffold is still up around the Main Street train station. The Disneyland Railroad is also still closed with no reopening date yet. Gian and Bayou Adventure fences are down. Check out our full video of this exciting news linked below. You can see here at the new queue, the space has opened up quite a bit. The main entrance green awning is now visible and the fencing around it is also gone. The yellow barn and the entrance are also uncovered now. This week we saw cast members and heard loud speakers from the loading area of the ride. And then the old photo retail building is also now unveiled. We were very excited to see everything in more detail. Remember that the ride itself opens on November 15th, but the Magic Key Holder previews begin this Monday, October 21st. And right next door to Deanna's Bayou Adventure, the Haunted Mansion retail shop is even further along with the walls and roofing getting close to completion. The Great Moments of Mr. Lincoln remains closed until 2025. It's a Small World toy shop should reopen today, Saturday, October 19th. And then the Small World ride will reopen at the start of the holiday season on November 15th. Meet Tinkerbell and Pixie Hollow, the character meet and greet reopening date got pushed back again. Now it is listed to reopen November 17th, about two weeks later. The Big Thunder Mountain Railroad will close November 18th with no reopening date yet. And Dumbo the Flying Elephant will close for one day on November 19th. However, in DCA, World of Color 1 will return October 25th, this Friday. And finally, The Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure will close November 4th with no reopening date yet. Thanks so much for watching everyone! If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more!